Guys, this is the second part of my high power vacuum tube collection. Um, in the last few weeks it was growing quite heartily, so yeah, I think it would make sense to do part two. So yeah, this is going to be part two. Um, well, let's start here with the German tubes. These are all SRS tubes, so let's start with this. This is the SRS. 326 and as you guys can see I have it two times but this has a star shaped getter inside here and these, this tube doesn't have that getter so we are quite interesting then we have this tube right here it's the SRS451 it's very very rare um, so yeah you can't really find that tube um, so yeah, it's quite a nice tube. It kind of looks like a pulse tube, but it isn't. Mm. Well, then we have the SAS 455. It's quite a nice little tube, um, very small, and yeah, quite quite nice. Well, this is the SAS 457, but I talked about that in part one. And we have the SAS 360. Um, so, yeah, it's a very, very nice tube I made in HFVTTC with that. Um, there's a video about it on my channel. I have two of these, so one is built into my coil right now. Um, yeah, then let's move on to this tube. This is also a German tube. It's an Wehrmacht tube, and it's also quite nice. It's pretty interesting. An interesting tube the anode has a very nice shape sadly the glass is broken but well that's not too bad I guess so also I got an GU 81M and I don't know if you guys know that but the GU 81 has a capacitor across um, across the grid 3 and cathode so that's very interesting and the GU81 M so this one this tube doesn't have that capacitor across um, grid 3 and cathode so yeah very very interesting um, then right here we have the classic GU50, nice little pen toad. you can build a nice HFVTC out of that, so pretty pretty cool. Then we move on to the best and definitely the biggest tube power wise in my collection. It's this absolute monster, it's the GMI2B, it's such a nice tube. Um, you can see that it has like these things and basically all of these single things are one tetrode so these are 10 tetrodes in parallel so that is very very cool if you i don't know if you guys can see that that well but yeah this is one tetrode this is the second one and well we have 10 of these right here it takes um, 25 volts and 20 amps to get the filament glowing so yeah it's not just an easy task to get the thing to light but well I can rewind and well that to get it glowing it's absolutely no problem um, <clears throat> also I found the data sheet for this tube um, so yeah that's pretty nice and yeah yeah that, that was that was it that was a quick update um yeah and well this is my my collection in a moment so yeah i hope you guys liked it